Welcome to our series, Fine Poetry. Poems that touch deeper chords. Today, Juan Ramon Jimenez, 1881 to 1958, part one. There are innumerable memories from my childhood, tales of King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table. The vast selection of books I read, often consuming one in a sitting, authors famous and unknown, but of writers that had mysticism in their veins, I would single out, having left the last impression in my youth, would be Antoine de saint Exupéry's The Little Prince and Juan Ramon Jiménez, Platero, and I, written in 1914. Jimenez, Spanish poet, born in December, on December 24, 1881. One of his most important contributions to modern poetry was the idea of poesia pura, pure poetry. A prolific author, he received the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1956. Here are a few poems by Juan Ramon Jimenez. Jimenez, in his own words, Jimenez said of his work, inner poetry eludes words. When one wishes to express something profound, one does not express it in jingles. In my first period, I used adjectives. Later, the adjectives became substantives. Literary artistry is constant suffering for the poet. One doubts the exactness of words, their ability to express what we feel within us. We strive to find that spirited asset the inner essence. Apropos of the above, Sri Aurobindo has written, quote, for poetry and music come from the inner being, and to write or to compose true and great things, one has to have the passage clear between the outer mind and something in the inner being. In the latter stages of his life, Jimenez drew deeply into himself in search of beauty and perfection. He once wrote, literature is a state of culture. Poetry is a state of grace, before and after culture. Oceans. I have a feeling that my boat has struck down there in the depths against a great thing, and nothing happens. Nothing. Silence. Waves. Nothing happens? Or has everything happened? And are we standing now quietly in the new life? Full consciousness. You are carrying me, full consciousness. God that has desires all through the world. Here in this third sea, I almost hear your voice. Your voice, the wind, filling entirely all movements, eternal colors, and eternal lights, sea colors, and sea lights. Your voice, full of white fire, in the universe of water, the ship, the sky, marking out the roads with delight, engraving for me, with a blazing light, my firm orbit, a black body, 
with the glowing diamond in its center. Translated by Robert Bly. Road. They are all asleep below. Above, awake, the helmsman and I, he watching the compass needle, lord of the bodies, with their keys turned in the locks, I, with my eyes, towards the infinite, guiding the open treasures of the souls. Translated by Robert Bly. The name drawn from the names. If I have created a world for you in your place, God, you had to come to it confident, and you have come to it, to my refuge, because my whole world was nothing but my hope. I have been saving up my hope in language, in a spoken name, a written name. I had given a name to everything, and you have taken the place of all these names. Now I can hold back my movement inside the coal of my continual living and being. As the flame rains itself back inside the red coal, surrounded by air that is all blue fire, now I am my own sea that has been suddenly stopped somewhere. The sea I used to speak of but not heavy, stiffened into waves of an awareness filled with light, and all of them moving upward, upward. All the names that I gave to the universe, that I created again for you, are now all turning into one name, into one God. The God who, in the end, is always the God created and recreated and recreated through grace and never through force. The God, the name drawn from the names. Translated by Robert Bly. I am not I. I am not I. I am this one walking beside me, whom I do not see, whom at times I manage to visit, and whom at other times I forget. The one who remains silent when I talk, the one who forgives sweet when I hate, the one who takes a walk when I am not, the one who will remain standing when I die. Translated by Robert Bly. From Dreaming. No, no. And the dirty neck boy starts crying and running without getting away. In a moment, on the streets. His hands, he's got something in his hands. He doesn't know what it is, but he runs to the dawn with his hidden prize, endlessly beforehand, we know what his trophy is, something ignored that the soul keeps awake in us. We almost start to glitter inside his gold with extravagant nakedness. No, no, and the dirty neck boy starts crying and running without getting away. In a moment, on the street, the arm is strong. It could easily grab him. The heart, also a beggar, lets him go. The ship, solid and black. The ship, solid and black, enters the clear blackness of the great harbor quiet and cold, 
The people waiting are still asleep, dreaming and warm, far away, and still stretched out in this dream, perhaps. How real our watch is, beside the dream of doubt the others had. How sure it is, compared to their troubled dream about us. Quiet, silence, silence, which in breaking up at dawn will speak differently. Translated by Robert Bly. And the last piece. Night piece, February 3rd. The sea, with no waves we recognize, with no stations on its route, only water and moon, night after night. My thought goes back to the land, someone else's land, belonging to the one going through it on trains at night through the same place at the same hour as before. Remote mother, sleeping earth, powerful and faithful arms, the same quiet lap for all, tomb of eternal life, with the same decorations freshened Earth, mother, always true to yourself, waiting for the sad gaze of the wandering eyes. My thought goes back to the land, the olive groves at sunrise, outlined sharply in the white or golden or yellow moonlight, that look forward to the coming back of those humans who are neither its slaves nor its masters, but who love it anyway. Translated by Robert Bly.